Today we're opening four Yu-Gi-Oh! tins from 2004. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video. Today, Luis R. went crazy on Ruxin34.com. He bought four 2004 tins and he said, you know what, I want these to be open. And I was like, gladly, this would be so much fun because if you guys remember, inside, Invasion of Chaos and Magicians 4. So this is going to be a crazy opening. He also got not just the four tins, he got 10 Raging Battle Packs. So you guys remember how crazy those were. So this is going to be a pretty long video. If you guys enjoy those long ones, sit back, relax. Here it comes. We have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We pulled all of these. The Invader of Darkness and the Thousand Eyes Restrict that we pulled the other day. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you want to see out of these 10. There's a lot of great options. All right. So I think we're going to start off with the Raging Battle Packs, and then we will get into those four tens. So let's start with the Raging Battle. Let's see if we can get Luis R a crazy pull. That would be awesome. We already pulled a Ghost Rider here, but these were not from a booster box. So there's still technically a chance to get more. I think it was from one of those big 100 pack boxes. We got Overdoom Line, Hedge Guard, Kalut, Against the Wind, Anamorphtronic Bind. All right, so we're starting off with the regular rare. That's okay. There's a lot of awesome cards in this set, as we talked about in that last video. If you didn't see when we pulled the Ghost, go check it out. Next pack. Let's do this. Can we pull an epic ultimate rare, uh, ghost rare, secret rare? They're all in here. Emissary from Pandemonium, Phoenixian Seed. Against the Wind again? And Attack of the Cornered Rat. That was weird. The exact same rare. Okay. Weird start, but that's okay. Raging Battle. A lot of packs to be open today. We got 20 packs in those tens. We got four promos. Then we got 10 packs here, so that's 30 overall. Older packs. This is the newest one at 2009, I believe. Got a hedge card. We got a Mind Trust. Tuner Capture. Junk Box. Oh, Ruxin Special. Oh. Against the Wind, Vanguard of the Dragon. <laughs> what in the world? That's three straight rares of the same card. Not just regular rares, but just literally three of the same rare. That is very strange. Okay, we got a Phoenixian Seed. Miracle Locust. Wonder Clover. Evil Thorn. That's a good common. Oh, Jama Blue. A different rare. Yay. Mermaid Archer and Double cool cd let's see if we can finally break the streak can we pull something out of here let's go so far a bunch of rares we got a thorn of malice crimson fire hedge guard oh we rocks and specialed it but we got a super rare reinforced human psychic board we pulled this last time as well so two of the borg very cool i remember when people tried to use that in duel links for a while when psychics were not good but they were they were being used a little bit halfway through rgbt Let's see what we can pull. Now we have the Phoenixian Seed again. Gadget Arms. Morphtronic Scoping. Oh, a Chaos End Master. That's a secret rare. Okay. So these packs are not done. I mean, they've still got some fire in. A little slow. Uh, we got the same exact card every time, but that's still really nice. And we got a Tor Apart, which is a cool card. A Reckon Power and Trap Stun. Now we're at 2 out of 6. That's not too bad after starting 0 for 4. Let's see if we can get that Ghost Rare, that Ultimate Rare, something crazy like that. We have the Hedge Guard. Kalut. Level Returner. Emissary from Pandemonium. Morphtronic Remoten. Okay, we finally got back to the Rare Vanguard of the Dragon. Vanguard. Vanguard, I should say. Uh, different thing completely. Let's go. Another Phoenixian Seed. What is up with this? Gadget Arms. Rose Tentacles. We haven't seen that one. Oh, another Ruxus Pack. <laughs> The same card! Reinforced Human Psychic Borg. That is so weird. This has been a weird opening so far. It's not like terrible. I mean, got a couple supers and a secret, but it is weird how we're pulling the same cards. Quacky Mirror Ice. If that was like another against the wind after that, that would have been wild. Two more Raging Battle. <laughs> Will it be the Phoenixian Seed again? No, it's the Mind Trust. Okay, Tuner Capture. Junk Box. Thorn of Malice. Oh! Berserking. Okay. Berserk King or Berserking, however you say that. Just another rare. And finally, another pack. Can we pull something big to end it off before the tens? Still got four tens to open. Four. That's almost all of them. Thorn of Malice. Crimson Fire. Hedge Guard. Moha. Okay, Moha. Why do I feel like that was okay? I don't think it is, though. All right. Not a bad start, but now we're on to the tens. The Insect Queen is the one we will start with. Let's check out the promo. Here we go. I always have difficulty opening these, but at least they don't get damaged like 2002, 2003. So the backlit, wow, minty. Very nice card. Okay, that's exciting. So that's a very good one. So that promo looks really good. The Insect Queen, one of my favorite ones for sure from this this year. I was about to say this season. What am I talking about? This is like, uh, yeah, this is, this is Yu-Gi-Oh. 
Ancient Sanctuary, Invasion of Chaos, Dark Crisis, Magician's Force, and Pharaonic Guardians. So we're obviously saving those two big ones for the end. Let's start off with an Ancient Sanctuary. Probably the least exciting, but still pretty cool to open. Let's go Ancient Sanctuary. Can we pull something good? Or can we even open the pack? Okay, there we go. We have a Disc Fighter. Very cool. Soul Reversal. Aswan Apparition. Judgment of the Desert. Grave Protector. And the Moki Moki is actually a good common. He's actually worth something cool. Vampire Lady, Enchanting Fitting Room, and the Sand Gambler. We are back to the old school times, so there will not be a rare and a foil in each pack. There won't be a rare or a foil at all. Like, it will be rare. It will just be a rare or just a foil. That's it. In Raging Battle, it was always a rare, but sometimes you would have a foil. Okay. Dark Crisis, Keldo. We can get the Skill Dream. We get the Final Countdown. We can get any foil. Sakuretsu Armor is a great card. Rod of Mind's Eye. Blindly Little Goblin. And the Guardian Trice. The Guardians. Nothing so far. Veronic Guardian. Bring us back. Give us the power. Allow us to pull Metamorphosis Common. We can pull the Trap Dust Shoot. So many good commons and rares in here. Can we pull some of them? Royal Tribute. Des Lakuda. Gravekeeper's Salem. That's a good one. Dark Snake Syndrome. And... Wing Sage, Falco's Royal Keeper, Bottomless Shifting, Sand Pyramid Energy, and an Owl of Luck. These tins are pretty hit or miss. So far, we're 0 for 3, but that's okay. The two that we want to hit are up. We have Invasion of Chaos. Let's go. We have the Griffin's Feather Duster. Inferno. DNA Transplant. Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. Oh, and the DD Designator. Super rare. Very, very cool. You'll love to see it. DD Designator. Then we have Smashing Ground, Sacred Crane, and Gigantus. So not too bad so far. Can we finish it with something big from Magician's Force? Let's see if we can do this. We have the Decade Commander. Kaiser Coliseum. Wow, what a card. Amazonist Blowpiper. Gather your mind. Oh, and a Breaker, the Magical Warrior. One of the best pulls in the set a breaker the magical warrior that is amazing a great start for the magician's force packs what a beautiful looking card that card it just looks amazing i love this card and then we finish it off with old vindictive good card mass driver and aitsu yeah great ending three more tints so far not bad i mean a couple of foils a breaker a dd designator the uh we got a secret rare from raging battle this is going okay next up we have the legendary total defense shogun and no, I will not hate on this guy because every time I do, there's a lot of fans of this guy that I did not realize. He is looking minty too. So yeah, Total Defense Shogun, awesome card, really cool. Nobody would ever think it wasn't cool. Don't worry, I got you guys. Then we've got our five packs again. Let's start off with the Ancient Sanctuary as we did before. Let's see if we can pull something this time. We have the Human Wave Tactics. Solar Flare Dragon. Law of the normal. Man throw tree. Man throw throw. Okay, draining shield. That was that was a struggle. Okay, dust barrier, sonic jammer, and elephant statue of blessing. Yet again, a failure coming from ancient sanctuary. Not surprising. It's pretty usual. Let's go into Veronic Guardian. Can we pull? Last time we pulled a reverse lava golem. When I opened some of these, my for my, I think when I, we did the all six tens. Oh, trap dust shoot. All right, a great common right off the bat. That's very good. Gravekeeper's curse. Banner of Courage, very cool. Curse of Aging, I love to see that. And a Moisture Creature. I always thought it's a very simple artwork. I always liked it though, Moisture Creature. It is three tributes though, not the best. Needle Ceiling, that's a pretty good card. Pyramid Energy and Bottomless, bottomless Shifting Sand. A lot of good cards in front of Guardian. Still three packs remaining. We have the Dark Crises. Can we pull something big like Exodian Necros? I mean, even the skill drains now are like $15 or something for near mint. It's insane. Look at the tech. Look at the texture on these. It's like very gritty. I love it. Agito, Kelbeck, Battle Scarred, Acrobat Monkey, and is that Tristan or Joey? I can't remember. Oh, Blast Held by a Tribute. We've got an Ultra Rare. That's pretty cool. I haven't pulled this in a very long time. Even like with how many we've opened in the reprint sets, I have not pulled as much. Blast Held by a Tribute. That's an Ultra Rare. That's pretty cool. It doesn't go off very often, but if it does, it's not bad. It starts blowing stuff up. Next up, the Invasion of Chaos. So we got a DD Designator last time. Now let's go for, uh, how about something big? BLS. Let's get a CED. Let's get a DMOC. Any of those would be pretty amazing. Let's see. We have the Tower of Babel. Gagagagagigo. <laughs> Fenrir. The Crimson Ninja. And 
What? Another DD designator? That is wild. Two DD designator out of two packs. That's very strange, but we will take it. It's a super rare. What a weird, what a weird opening. We've pulled a lot of like random doubles, which is pretty cool, but also weird. Magician's Force. Uh, I take a double breaker. Anybody down? Raise your hand if you're down. Uh, we have Royal Magical Library incoming. Very cool. Dark Magician Girl would be great. Rare Gold Armor. Still not sure if you can get those out of 10s, but maybe you can. Magical Merchant. I would love to prove ourselves wrong. Human, or human. <laughs> Wave Motion Cannon. Not human. Okay, that's cool as well. And a Tribute Doll. That looked like a foil for some reason. Giant Orc and a Magical Scientist. Man, that was loaded with good commons as well. All right, that's two tins down. So far, pretty good pulls. Uh, we've got, what, two Ultras and two Supers out of two tins. That's very good. Uh, some pretty good commons as well. The Pharaonic Guardian and the, you know, Magic Ruler. Or magic, what's it called? Magician's Force, not Magic Ruler. <laughs> okay, the Blade Knight. This is one of the best promos in my opinion. It looks amazing. And also, it's just nice for GOAT format. Let's see. And the Seeker it looks awesome. Very cool. Man, these are minty. Yeah, these look good. So hopefully, Luis will be able to grade these at some point with PSA and it not cost him an arm and a leg. Because they have brought regular service back, which is amazing. That means hopefully bulk will be on the horizon at some point, maybe like in this year. Because they did say they would be low, lower rates this year. So hopefully that'll happen. Okay, we got our five packs. All right, let's keep going. And I want to remind you guys, I've totally abandoned the eBay and TCG affiliate links. I forgot. So I'm going to remind you guys right now, check out the TCG and eBay affiliate links. If you guys buy anything on eBay or TCG, just use my link below and you guys will be able to... Uh, like support the channel you'll pay the exact same amount you were going to pay anyway but instead of all of it going to tcg some of it goes to me which is really cool so you guys get to support me that way three hump lakuda i uh they are all in the description if you want to do that earthquake we've got the piranha army and come on asd give us something so absorbing bone tower this was like seven dollars at one point so i guess that is something it's not like too bad okay we'll go into dark crisis next Whew, let's do this what can we pull we have the Staunch Defender, Archfiend's Roar, Thousand Needles, Shadow Knight Archfiend. Oh, and a secret rare judgment of Anubis. Not the best secret rare, probably like the worst secret rare we could have pulled out of any of these. No, maybe it's a little better than the AST one. No, I don't know. It's very cool looking though. So uh, it's a secret rare though, but we'll take it. <laughs> not the one we're looking for, but we'll take it. Well, it'd be better. Than, I'd rather have that than Diffusion Wave Motion for sure. Okay, yeah, it's not too bad actually. It's pretty cool. I don't think the value's there, but it's definitely very cool. Ferrana Guardian, up next. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, like we pulled Lava Golem last time. I, I do really like Lava Golem. It's very cool. We got a Banner of Courage. Wait, was that reverse? I need to check that out. Time out. Before we get too crazy here. I think that's normal, right? Yeah, that, that wasn't normal. It's not a reverse secret. Okay, Curse of Aging. Yomi Ship. We got the Giant Axe Mummy. He's got the Giant Axe. And the Gravekeeper's Watcher. Shape Snatch. Oh, a bow tie with horrible power. It attacks an opponent by controlling others. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> the bow tie with horrible power. Back to Invasion of Chaos. 2DD Designator. Is it possible we get three? 3DD three Designator? Is that a, is there a chance? All right, Yellow Luster Shield. Burning Aljay. Ojama Black. Blasting the Ruins. Will it be another one? No, it's a Curse of Darkness. That is way off center. Look at that thing. Wow, that thing's way off center. We got a Prickle Fairy, Coach Goblin, Soul Absorption, and Be Gone, Knave. And the final pack. Magician's Force. Here we go. Can we pull something big? We had pretty good pulls so far. Pigeonholding, Book of Spells. We got Thunder of Ruler. Magical Marionette. Emblem of Dark or Dragon Destroyer. Different. Oh, and an XZ Tank Cannon. That's an awesome card. Super rare. XZ Tank Cannon. I love these cards. They just look really cool. They're nostalgic because back in the day, you're like, these guys are awesome. You put them together. You make a big monster. It can do stuff. I don't know. I just always really thought they were cool. And then we have the Old Vindictive Good. Mass Driver, Huge Revolution, and the Poison of the Old Man. And our final 10 for Luis. Luis, thanks again for buying these on Ruxin34.com and having them open so that we can, you know, see the contents, etc. And get to, uh, you know, enjoy it with you. So hopefully you are happy so far with your pulls. Let's make you ecstatic after this one. Let's get some crazy pulls. I'm really liking how the uh, promos are looking, though. They're looking really nice. And once you'll be able to grade some of these, um, you know, not at a million dollars each, they will definitely help out your value. So Command Knight, it's not too crazy, just near mint, but minty, that could get a 10, potentially, maybe a little bit off center. Then, uh, and get some of your money back and we got our last set of packs there the final five packs ancient sanctuary can you give us a foil so far you are 0 for 3 uh this is the one to be 0 for 3 though you definitely rather have foils out of the others they're much better we have a goblin king mystic walk 
got the Emissary of the Oasis, Micro Ray, and the Agent of Wisdom, Mercury. Didn't we already pull out the Death Scissors, Vampire Lady, and the Sand Gambler? Okay, the Sand Gambler. Let's see if we can pull something good out of Pharaonic Guardian. So far, we have not pulled a meta. We have pulled the Trap Dust Shoot, though, which was nice. All right, Charm of Shabti. We've got a Pyro Clock of Destiny. Different Dimension Capsule. Swarm of Locusts. And Gravekeeper's Watch. We've pulled that one too. D-Tribe, Birdface, Rite of Spirit, and Cobra Jar. So far, these have actually been pretty strong packs. We've pulled lots of stuff out of them. Well, let's not end on a dud tin. Come on, let's, let's get this tin going here. All right, DCR. Let's see. If, even Skill Drain would be a great pull. Blindly Loyal Goblin. We've got the Mustering of Dark Scorpion. Spell or Rep Reduction. Oh, guy, guy, Giga. What is it? What is his flavor text? A young evildoer used to have an evil heart, but by meeting a special person, he discovered justice. A young evildoer? That's this guy. He discovered justice. Oh, and the wicked breaking Flamborg bow. That's okay. We started over three on the first 10. You guys remember how that one turned out. Two more packs. Invasion of Chaos. End us with a Black Luster Soldier. Let's go. This has been a very fun opening. I always love opening Invasion of Chaos Magicians for us. Uh, for even Pharaonic Guardian, DCR, and even Ancient Sanctuary, which is not the best ever. Those are still very fun. All right, zero gravity on the IOC. Chopman the Desperate Outlaw. Yellow Luster Shield. Burning Algae. And... Oh, an Invader of Darkness Secret Rare! That's two secrets in one opening. Wow, that is awesome. This one doesn't have crazy value because it's Invader of Darkness. We're also giving one of these away, which is odd, but it's such a cool card. I think the original print looks really nice because it's like darker, you know, he has a darker feel. You know, he's the Invader of Darkness, which is very cool. Multiplication Advance, I think is actually worth something. Salmon, we got the Delta Hurricane and the Recycle. We're on to the final pack. Here we go, Magician's Force. Let's do this. Let's pull something crazy. So I'm starting to think you can only get retail secrets because we keep pulling retail secrets. We have a ma magical, not a magician's merchant. Neo Main King, or Neko Main King is not bad either. Sonic Duck. Frontline base, and can we get something amazing? Let's go for um, Dark Paladin. Here we go. Ooh, a cat's ear tribe. All right, Death Dendal, Jar Robber, Union Rider, and Meta Silver Armor. That's all right. We did get a secret rare in the last 10, so those turned out to be pretty decent. If you guys enjoy that old school opening, make sure to subscribe for more epic content coming up in the future. Shout out to TCG, Trust Card, Stone Foe Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Duelist, King of Cards, Spanky McFarland, G Raider, and Daxter. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.